Lonman says union leaders have distanced themselves from yesterday's illegal strike. In a statement, Lonman has condemned the unlawful work stoppage and urged miners to get back to work. It's to allow management to negotiate with the union leaders. Now, yesterday, scores of workers brought production at the Maracana mine to a halt. They're demanding that the National Union of Mine Workers offices at the mine close with immediate effect. That's to spa make space for AMCU, which is the majority union. Well, let's speak to one of the unions. On the line with me now, I have uh, NUM spokesperson, Mr. Lasiba Sashoka. Mr. Sashoka, good morning to you. When are you moving out of your offices, if this report is to be believed? Well, uh, good morning to you guys and to your viewers. Um, uh, our union is not about to leave that office. Uh, if people uh, uh, want to spend more time on the copy, uh, enjoying the weather, our union will not lose its office. Uh, so if, if the condition that they will come back to work once our office is closed, then their strike will be forever. We will not close our office uh, precisely because we have got the right to coexist uh, with whatever union is there in, uh, on the mind in terms of the law, but also in terms of the peace accord that we entered into uh, two months ago. Do you have any understanding as to what's actually happened? You mentioned the peace accord. What has gone wrong that we're now seeing another strike at Lonman? Of course, you see, if you look at this uh, so-called strike, it, it, is not, it is not a labor issue, basically. It's a criminal matter because um, someone was killed at a tavern uh, over the weekend. Of course, that person is a, a member of AMCO. Uh, but this person was not killed at the workplace, and therefore they should allow the police to investigate rather than turn that into a labor matter and then say the NUM office must close because our member has died. And uh, we're saying that if people have got evidence, they must give that to the police. I'm so disappointed with what Mr. Matunja said last night uh, when he said in an interview that they have lost their confidence in the police because that by implication means if you have lost confidence in the law enforcement agencies, it actually means that you are ready to take the law into your own hands. That's what it implies. Mr. Sushoka, I would like to ask you this question. According to the numbers, AMCU is the majority union. Why are you losing more members to AMCU? What are you going to do about that as a final comment? Uh, comment well, of course, you must understand that um, throughout the years, the NUM has never been static. Uh, in many years, one of the years in the, two, in the early 90s, we lost all our members to mouthpiece. But with time, we, we regained all that membership uh, and that mouthpiece died. Uh, later in the year, there was a five Madoda union that was swept us across the mining sector. But with time, we regained our membership. The reality is that uh, they will always be changing dynamics. And if you look at the dynamics in Rustenburg, they are influenced by external factors, mainly political factors. We know, for instance, that there are political parties that are funding what is happening in Marikana in, in the hope that they will be able to get uh, people to elect them into power come next year. Mr. So Sosoko, thank hopeful. you very much. I don't mean to be rude. My apologies. I'm not in any way trying to be rude. Uh, we will have to leave it there for the moment. I think you did make your point as far as membership numbers are concerned. My thanks to the NUM spokesperson, Lasiva Sosoko. News that moves. ENCA.com.